Alright, here we go. This is a custom 3v3 on star between the red team in the upper left hand corner, KKJ7 in the classic saucer, yellow fellow in the steampunk neo, and sire zero k in the brand new gothic helix and their opponents on the bottom right hand corner mc combat in the raptor neo patrolling tangos which is a little bit interesting around the fort dude 9599 in a booster pumpkin saucer a liberty booster pumpkin saucer uh which uh is very very famous uh you know uh, kit and aqua actually uses that quite a lot um i'm not saying that it's exclusive but you know that that's uh that's just one thing i noticed a lot and and right now eric 692 in a steampunk osprey and we do have a staggered a longhorn in the front dillos on the back for blue team um and for red team just all exclusively dillos and here we go the game is about to begin uh and yellow fellow with a quick uh uh, uh, Rebel harass right now. I'm gonna try to get this outpost neutralized and will actually auto regen a lot of life on the ground. Um, MC Combat, let's see if he is queuing up any defensive infantry. No, he is only queuing up bombs, which will eventually take care of the Rebels, but he had defensive Delos down, so I don't think that was really 100% necessary. Does finish off that one Rebel with a bomb, and uh, Yellowfellow is forced to retreat without, uh, the, you know, successfully completing that neutralization. Um, and, and in the meantime, Blue Team is pretty much winning this fight at the mid. There are two uh, Dillos that were killed for Red Team. I think they were not able to actually stop all of them. Sire very low on life, getting pinned down. MC Combat not able to finish him off on the ground. He does go behind that bridge to hide. And dude, gonna finish. No, he does not get him finished. Oh, but he does land to get that finish on Sire on the ground. Uh, I don't know if he had boosters at the time, but if he did, he did de ditch those boosters. Now, dude, trying to get this generator will be saved by KKJ7. And dude, getting finished off in the air by KKJ before getting away there. Um, but Eric is here at the mid. Yellow trying to get a neutralization with Rebels, but really not really going to get that far. Yellow is getting away, though. He will not be finished, but Dude and Eric are both here to defend. And uh, we do have another small Dilla push over here, but with both, once again, with more mechs. Than, there's two to zero mechs over here, even though there's a lot of units with an Osprey here and a Saucer to micro stuff around. Uh, th this will be a losing battle for, uh, for Red Team. But in the meantime, Red Team has been able to take this island. All three mechs were concentrated at, uh, you know, to take uh, out this... Um, so they got to take out all the neutrals at this island so they have been able to take this with three sockets it is, it is the most uh it is the outpost with the most sockets in this map and uh it will be a humongous advantage uh for blue for red team um not a huge advantage but uh it, it, i mean it, it'll, it'll put them back up there uh because blue team has mid that is a humongous positional advantage but because red team has been able to take that island they will have more sockets and probably more economy although that middle outpost is a power station um it, it's still uh, kind of good to have all those extra sockets just because you can choose whether or not you want generators whether or not you want money makers and etc etc we do have a little bit of pressure going down by red team here at this outpost kkj with a couple probes not not really going to do that much because this hasn't been neutralized yet and yellow swooping in as well um and mc combat gonna try to oh, he lands with the mp what was that just reaction that was i guess that was just natural reaction with kkj dog fighting with mc combat mc combat will not no will be able to land but he does get emp'd on the ground and kkj7 does get that finish after yellow fellow does get that oh but dude does follow yellow fellow back to uh, before he gets that uh <laughs> before he gets back to that bottom island um to, to heal up and at, in the meantime, right now, Eric gonna try try to start pushing up here at, to, at this top right corner. Um, the, these T99 is smoking black. Probably will get finished off by the jackals and dillos that Eric is bringing over here. And right now, let's see where Red Team all together right now. Let's see where they choose to go. They are also going for this top island. I don't think they were aware that Blue Team has started on them as well. And in the meantime, right now, Sire has been uh, dropping. He did drop them by Blue units to try to take them out. But he is trying to dogfight against the saucer right now. Oh, but Dude did get finished, I think, by those followers. T99 missiles because he was flying around and Sire did get finished by that Dillo on the ground. Um, and right now we do have a 1v1 here at the top. Oh, now it's actually a 2v2. MC Combat and Eric are here with KKJ and Yellowfellow, but KKJ, or, but Yellow had to retreat back. He is choosing to retreat. I think he's bringing back his uh, the, the units. Um, or maybe they're starting to drop it for a push. This outpost has been able to go to, to red, but there is nothing surrounding, so I doubt it will stay red for very long. Yellow dropping uh, dropping those defensive probes, which will uh, actually, for now, does hold. Those two T99s are still there, and MC Combat actually at the fort, at the red fort, trying to take down a lunchbox, uh, or not a lunchbox, a leveler. And this stray Dillo over here is uh, firing in, but KKJ will block it with a Seeker and will be able to get this abducted. Um, and in the meantime, we do see Blue Team Dude 9599 dropping four sentry turrets, and this will neutralize this outpost extremely, extremely quickly. Uh, they were dropped very, very, uh, you know, positionally, very, positioned very, very well. 
come, and now this has been neutralized. One blue bulb up for uh, for blue team. One blue bulb up for blue team. Yeah, that's correct, guys. Shut up. That's that's correct. But we do have this uh, completely claimed by blue, and there's only one neutral uh, T99 left, and there's only one Dillo here for red team. Another one does get dropped, but they are going to get killed. Yellow and Sire are desperately trying to get this neutralized, which they actually do, but Sire does get finished off in the air. KK, uh, Yellow Fellow also gets finished off, and KKJ7 barely blinks away in the nick of time. Um, but right now, this is more. This is going to be more under Blue's control than Red's. Um, there is some infantry going down by uh, by Blue Team. Um, and right now, KKJ7, uh, Sire, and and Yellow are a little bit behind now that they have pretty much lost that top island. Yellow with some uh, more units. Actually, I don't I don't know if they're going to decide to push uh, more, but this is going to go to blue. And this T99, I think, was actually even abducted by dude. It's in the exact position right there, and I don't think there are any T99s in in uh, anyone's loadout. So that had to have been an abducted T99. Um, dude, uh, whoa, whoa, where did dude go? Where did dude go? Let's uh, I can I can click on his button. Dude went all the way over here to do a little bit of uh, harassment. Uh, trying to get that generator abducted, but I guess it was just for a short distract. Um, with that blink, boost, blink booster saucer, you are just extremely speedy and pretty much can get anywhere on the map. Um, in, all, in pretty much nothing flat. And yellow with rebels over here at this uh, at this blue outpost is gonna no. There, there's a lot of energy going down, even with KKJ7 support. And KKJ will probably get finished off here uh, because he's yes, he does get finished off on the ground by Eric and uh, yellow fellow trying to cloak away, but is it gonna be out of energy? And is gonna be followed by all these green or all these blue players? Um, there are three blue blue team members, and, and uh, MC Combat did get that EMP, finishes them off, and Sire in the same predicament. Gonna oh, actually probably gonna get back to his outpost before getting killed, has plenty of life, so will not be followed all the way there. Um, and I uh, did get back up for that heal. Um, and let's see what's going to happen next. There, uh, we are kind of settling right now into a, into a, a nice static mid game. Uh, all the outposts have been claimed and defended. We will see uh, either a multi drop attack, a little, a lot of harass actually going down by the two speedy mechs on the red team. Uh, they do, uh, KKJ and Yellow do go down actually. Um, not right after a kill, right after a killing dude though. KKJ did get that kill on dude. And right now Sire is still doing a little bit of attack here at this upper right corner. Uh, I don't. Think that's really gonna do that much really um and he does get killed on the ground um oh no it does not get killed on the ground that was that was for some reason i thought that exploding dillo or whatever was sire di dying but sire is still here walking around avoiding all those mechs fire uh but will get finished off in the air by mc combat mc combat with really really good positioning there was able to take down sire but in his flight path and yellow also getting killed by the blue units and uh, dude going to be able to get this ducked on this Dillo unless it gets killed by his units first, which it does. Um, and right now, red team is, is is definitely behind just because they don't have mid. Um, they, uh, e e you know, each opponent, uh, e each team has a corner. Um, even though red has the more powerful corner, they do not have mid. That is a humongous positional advantage here on Thar. Um, and yellow just doing a, uh, trying to harass just by himself. Not really going to get too far. Uh, really needs to regroup, start working with his teammates, and probably try to focus on a single purpose. Um, you know, with a little bit of, a little bit of distraction and harassment thrown in for a little bit of flavor, for a little bit of a, of a, of a uh, you know, complementary effectiveness there. Um, but we do have a, a red tank push. This is the one thing about Thar. If you're on the island and you're you're uh, you know against bottom right, a drop here will the, the Dillos will have to go all the way around um, and go all the way back down here. Whereas if you were you know if you were the bottom right team and you had the island, you were trying to push on the upper left uh, or, or on the mid on the the left the left center outpost, which is. Uh, this one right here, if you dropped right here, it would be able to just go straight through this path and hit the uh, the outpost immediately. So um, even though they did set that to attack mid, um, if they had the choice, I do think that they would have actually put that um, to capture, um, you know, to capture it and so it would have gone for this. Actually, I'm not really sure why they didn't go for that because when you set things to capture, um, they typically go for the closest outpost proximity wise from where they were out from where they were dropped in yellow fellow getting killed in the air there um, the one big difference here in this game is that blue team has an osprey um, and, and and sire uh, is in that helix eric is in that osprey so if they do enter an artillery war blue team will be at a, you know at, at, a, at a noticeable advantage just because artillery wars are you know obviously do favor osprey play um, and 
from Izzy Combat trying to go. Yes, he does hit the back of that uh, seeker with that bomb and does get that finish before he gets killed. Does uh, you know? Does lift off and retreats in time. And right now we are starting an artillery war. Bertha does go up for blue team or for red team. Um, and I don't see any uh, artillery up for uh, for blue team yet. Um, yeah, there is just this one Bertha, and dude is trying to abduct it. There is two seekers here, so that really isn't going to work too well. MC is able to get this drop uh, behind this uh, this Bertha, but really, really far behind enemy lines. Probably going to get finished off in the air by Yellow Fellow, and he does that exactly. And I do think, oh, dude actually does have two Berthas out on the field here. Um, I, I think those are actually put up by Eric. Eric is the only one on blue team with Berthas in his loadout, so dude is helping Eric micro those Berthas around with that Blink Booster Saucer. Um, and we do have an Aegis down for uh, for Red Team. Um, and dude just trying to do an, a little bit of abduction. Not really going to work too well. Uh, especially with that many Seekers and that many mechs to defend. Um, and MC Combat with Dillo at the front door is actually hitting the front door this time. Going to be able to get a, a fair amount of damage before it dies. And that was about 5 or 7% of their damage or so, give or take. And Sire has to land but does get finished off by, I think that was the Bertha's firing in. Um, but these dills are just going to be uh, cannon fodder for all these. This is like, uh, you know, they're, they're moving sideways along the, just perfectly for these tanks, these blue tanks to hit and for these uh, red, you know, for these blue mechs to hit as well. Um, and dude, all alone, ducting to, you know, to his heart's content. Uh, I do think he's going to be able to do that for a, for actually a fair amount of time before red teams actually notice because they are so concentrated up at this fight down here at the bottom. Um, KKJ actually was able to abduct that Goliath. Wow, there's no anti-air over here except for one seeker. Um, and I guess those mechs weren't actually firing with him. But now KKJ does notice that dude is over here abducting and probably should start shooting at him as well. Um, he is trying to save his units, um, but once he, yeah, dude just links away right when he gets low in life but now this actually has been neutralized so blue team is definitely way ahead MC getting killed on the ground um, after he cloaks there but Right now, blue team has been able to neutralize this. No infantry going in yet, except for random creeps that wandered in. One or two, I think, have died. One blue light is up, and yellow fellow is doing his best to, to kill what he can here in the time that the blue mechs are absent, but it's not really going to be that much, just because dude 9599 is in a blink booster saucer with a radar guardian. Holy moly. That is going to just be extremely effective. He can pretty much see the entire map uh, with, you know, with most, well, not in the entire map, but it will do a lot, uh, a lot, you know, benefit but right now yellow fellow actually sending a lot of dillos out from the fort um in all random directions actually they are going for this outpost because they actually i think they've all been set on capture um these couple ones you know out of waypoints here on, uh, at this map uh so out of waypoints they are actually not all going to be coming to this outpost um but they are um Nah, they're not really. I don't think this is really going to do too much the, the blue this blue uh, outpost has been defended very very well there's a couple Dillos and actually even a Goliath down on the field and dude even sockets a generator. Um, and now KKJ with some Rusty Rebels. I'm not actually sure what the uh, the benefit of the Rusty Rebels is. I think they're like stronger, like uh, they, they like have more HP, um, but they're like, and they're like uh, more expensive or something. I don't know. You guys can look that up. Uh, look at the Air Mech Wiki. Air Mech Wiki and, and the data spreadsheet, those are pretty much the two most um, valuable resources as an Air Mech player, as, as, uh, especially as more of an advanced Air Mech player, knowing more of the basics once you get those details. And, and dude, gonna be able to... Oh, no, 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 no! Does get finished in the air by Yellow Fell, and Yellow getting finished in the air by MC Combat. Um, but right now, Sire having all the freedom in the world right now to, to put down all these Berthas, to put down a couple of Goliaths, and has a couple uh, uh, probes. Uh, he's putting down probes, I guess, for a distraction. Um, but, you know, honestly, uh, patrolling rebels or jackals or uh, zippers or whatever would be a better purpose for that if they just went back and forth, back and forth right here. Which is something that I've been trying to work on, but it's, it's kind of difficult with, with that control. It's much, much faster on a gamepad where you can just fly over and set your patrol points. Um, but right now, this outpost is neutralized once again. And Red Team dropping a lot of infantry, so this does go back up to Red. Um, MC Combat is the only one here getting hit very, very heavily by all these units, but does it is is able to cook away and will not get finished before he gets killed, um, and uh, or before he gets back to that outpost. He didn't get killed. So right now, dude actually was able to steal some Goliaths. I think he was able to steal some, and now probably gonna go for. Um, I don't know if he's gonna go for Berthus, but he does have generators in his loadout, so he is gonna start start socketing those. Um, Blue team is not super star for power, but you know every generator will help, especially because Blue has um, the majority of the map control 
uh, they have mid. They were briefly able to take this and surround this fairly well. So, uh, you know, in terms of pressure and, and, and map control, Blue is definitely winning. Blue does have that control. Uh, single uh, Goliath going down here, but without a, uh, without an Osprey to heal it up, uh, it's not really going to be as effective as it could be. I and mean, Eric now forced to retreat the Berthas away from this high ground. Green putting a lot of pressure down, or not green, red putting a lot of pressure down. Yellow dropping a bomb, uh, does get finished in on his way back to his outpost though. Um, and now MC going to shoot this Goliath from behind, probably going to be able to get this kill. I don't think KKJ is going to be able to get it in time. Or no, Sire's the only one over here actually. He is waiting, is, is he, oh, is he a little AFK? I think he's probably typing. He's probably typing in party chat to his teammates. Um, and yellow does say he should stick to TF2. Um, you know what? Screw TF2. Air mech. Air mech all day, baby. Um, but right now we do have a lot of Berthas up for blue team. I don't think these Berthas are actually going to reach. Um, no, I think they probably can reach. Uh, or actually, with this recent Bertha nerf, um, I don't think they are actually going to be able to fire. Um, oh, but yeah, yeah, they, they are probably not going to be able to fire in. Not Bertha nerf, but artillery across the board has been uh, reduced by 10%. They might not be able to, uh, to to get there. And he does. And Sire does say, "May you should not have gone uh, switch to Osprey last minute." I'm not really sure what happened. I, I, I'm assuming Eric wasn't an Osprey, and maybe they did something like agree to no Osprey. There has been a lot of no Osprey games recently, um, just because. Uh, you know, a lot of people do are under are under the impression that uh, you know Ospreys with artillery do uh, you know kind of define a certain kind of play style, define a certain pace in the game where you are in an uh, artillery oriented war. Um, so th that's why a lot of people have been putting up a lot of no Bertha games. But right now. Uh, we do have a single, or not, no Bertha, no no Osprey games. But right now we do have a single um, Osprey in the game, and uh, actually these these Goliaths. Uh, leading in front of these Berthas, uh, this is gonna just demolish everything that Red Team has over here. Um, yeah, I don't think it's gonna... Oh, KKJ trying to abduct, uh, but has to blink in circles, does get back to his outpost before he say, before he dies. Um, I don't know if he's going with a, uh, he does have an alien though, so he is, uh, he is going with that, that, that typical saucer loadout, where, uh, you know, the alien now, re now just recently has, uh, given an abduct bonus. Um, and dude, holy crap, look at all these Goliaths, there are so many Goliaths here. If Blue pushes out right now red team pretty much has absolutely nothing and i don't think that red team is going to be able to survive this uh, and they are so focused down here at this island to post fight here that uh yeah it's it's just really really difficult to uh to, to to keep your eye on the rest of the map but death going down here mc getting taken down by siren dude killing kkj um but dude with um yeah with a lot of goliaths there is nothing i doubt red has scouted this yet and there is nothing absolutely nothing here to uh to a uh, red front red front door kkj now finally sees it does drop a ping and uh i do think this is going to result in the end of the game i don't think there's anything that blue that red team can do uh these goliaths are approaching very 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 slowly as they are goliaths but i jeez I don't think there. I mean, there is still nothing over here. MC getting a leveler killed. A Bertha, a defensive Bertha going down by KKJ, but a uh, dude is trying to abduct it. KKJ does uh, pick it up in time, but there is still nothing left here. Oh my god, look at all of those Goliaths, that is too many. KKJ trying to abduct the lead Goliaths, which is pretty much the, uh, you know, the typical textbook response to it, but with, you know, with a mech here to, uh, to, uh, to, you know, to do a lot of micro around. KKJ does put a Dillo in blocking position, will be able to get this Goliath. He does abduct the Goliath, so he will put that in blocking position as well, um, but there are too many Goliaths here. Dude doing a lot of micro, getting a really good surround on this fort, and I do think this will be the end of the game. Um, uh, dude, once again, getting surrounded, and there are way too many Goliaths. There are still six Goliaths still making their way over here, um, and a lot of front door damage going down. KKJ desperately trying to abduct, but getting smashed by all those Seekers, and this game has gone to blue team. Red team going down in defeat. MC Combat, Dude 9599, and Eric 692 do take this custom 3v3 on Thar over KKJ7 Yellowfell and Sire 0K. I don't know what's with this lack of chat box on the right side right now. Uh, you know, during replays, I just it just it just doesn't appear for some reason sometimes. Not every single time, but sometimes. Maybe I should report that. Oh, God. I've said that so many times. Maybe I should report that. But uh, whatever. <laughs> Looking at the final tallies, um, MC did go positive 3. Dude went positive five. Uh, Eric going even in that Osprey, and uh, pretty much every single player on the red team going negative. The scores weren't as skewed as you would normally see. Um, I mean, this wasn't that uneven of game, uh, but blue team, I would say, had the majority of the control, um, the majority of the pressure and aggression advantage the entire game. So um, that this game does go to blue team.
Um, if you have any games that you think would be good to cast on my channel, uh, send me the replays, ruy0x at gmail.com, or simply ruy on Steam, add me, drop in Air Max Steam chat, please, we need more people, even though it gets flooded with chat sometimes, it's, there's only like 20 to 30 people at the max each time, so it's, uh, we, we need, we'll talk to you, come, come guys, come and drop into Air Max chat, and we, we will chat to you. This is ruy, and that is game, see you next time.